to his music somehow it does stop our minds and um, why it is so important to us maybe about art in general also <laughs> and what is your favorite kind of music yes it certainly stops the conceptual mind although music exists at different levels there's some kind of music that very much stimulates the emotions but not the mind but the emotions uh, the listening of music can be a wonderful meditation and practicing of music even more so if you do you play an instrument but do you listen to music what kind classical music classical music yes yes, yes i there were several years, I don't know how many, maybe 15 years, when I listened to very little music. And um, why? Because the strange thing, I actually said that to somebody at that time who asked me the similar question. Uh, and I said, no, I don't listen to music much at that time. Why not, she asked. Because it felt to me that all those things like music and art, they were all inside me in there. The, the essence of whatever music can express, I could continuously sense, well I still can, I can continuously sense inside me. And so I, I can appreciate music, I said to her at the time, but I don't need it. It's like I have the, the cream, everything else is the skimmed milk. But I, even nature I perceived as a skimmed milk. I remember often sitting in nature and in a state of sometimes closing my eyes. I, especially when I was still living in London, I would go on Hampstead Heath every day, sit there on a the bench and close my eyes. Such beauty and depth in what we found the formless life itself or consciousness and then when I opened my eyes again nature was still very beautiful but it seemed like a diluted version of what I had within or what, even what I was within not that there's anything wrong with that it, for many people it can be an entry point into that so it can take you into that uh, now then the time came when I started listening to music again as an enjoyment and I do now, perhaps not every day, but from time to time I listen to music. Found this 